basic issue, Carl, is whether unions have just gone too far in the aggregate. This is what I'm, I'm sure you're not a big fan of Chris Christie, New Jersey, but here's what he has said on this issue. And I want you to respond. Governor okay. Christie. We are tired of paying for the $550,000 a year executive director at the teachers union. We're tired of paying for their $265,000 a year president. And we're tired of having a union leader in Bergen County who prays for the death of the governor and remains in the public pension system while he's on the teacher union payroll. None of that's about the kids. He's well, a very popular fellow right now. Well, actually not by the latest poll, but th what he just said is completely wrong. At the, the service union it's wrong. First of all, in the state of says, Jersey paid a half million pay? dollars? No, he... He and we, taxpayers, are not paying that money. That money is coming out of union dues. Union members are taking money out of their checks to pay union dues, and that's the money no exclusively doubt, those, that goes those to salaries. No doubt, set the tone for salaries and benefits no, but, in the state. But, right? What he just said was a complete lie. What he said was we're paying for this union leader and that union leader. That is completely those guys not true. He is pitting the, worker or, against or, worker. Carla. Is it fair to say those guys are calling the shots, and right now, be it a Republican governor or Democratic governor, it is time right now to get a handle on this. Whether you argue he's overstating the case with individual members or heads, he's, and they're not, right? Well, he's grandstanding, because at the same time that he is pitting workers well, what against would you do to, to close the budget middle class? Besides just tax well, one the of the things I would do is not do what he did a couple of weeks ago, which is veto a bill that would have raised $800 million in revenue. He vetoes a the millionaire's, millionaire's tax, tax that the Democrats to be a one -year deal. put on his debt. All right, but let me raise this with you. He vetoed since, it within five minutes. Since, well, he, uh, if the state needs money that bad, why would you not accept Because it doesn't work. When, when, when Governor McGree, more than a decade ago, raised the top rate from 6.37% to 8.95%, Governor Corzine raised it to about 10 and 3 quarters percent. That's right. And this was supposed to be a one-year deal. New Jersey's been losing money. Its deficits have been getting worse. Its piled-on debt has gotten worse. So obviously that fiscal well, goal we, don't hunt. We can't have shared sacrifice for 99% of the state and not for the 1% that can most afford it. But, but if there's going to be shared raising, sacrifice... Just raising taxes doesn't work. You know, I'd like to see the governor himself take a pay cut, and he hasn't done that. He is taking the exact rate that he would have. The last governor took right, a dollar. Right. He's got to leave by example. Get, I want to get you back. Good stuff all, but it's a mess. It's it a is mess. a mess. It is all a mess. All right, now, something...